All right, we're in a cute little town of Yangana, in the parish of Yangana. A lot of Catholics in Ecuador. And this is a pretty colorful looking court area, downtown court place. And there are all these little cute offices and shops. Hola. And uh, lots of color. And then over here they have a sports situation. This is like the central of, center of town. But they have no shortage of flashy colored paint. But what's really cool is they have a um, volleyball court over there. Which they're fixing up. And then also a basketball court. I did not know that uh, Ecuadorians love basketball, uh, but apparently they have enough for full court basketball. And then here in Ecuador, the dogs um, are very intelligent dogs, and they know how to walk themselves. So quite often you see throughout Ecuador um, dogs that are walking themselves. Which is pretty cool. So this is the center of town. Sweet little town. It's almost like a little Swiss village uh, compared to um, Vilcabamba and uh, Loja. And in the far distance over there you see smoke coming up. One of my desires is to live and be above smoke. They have a certain time of year they have a lot of sugar cane that they burn. And I frankly don't want any part of that. So. I looked for a place that was a little higher up, so we'll go see the property. But isn't this beautiful? I bought myself some bananas, although they have them all over the place, just growing in the yards, and some ponds, some bread. So we'll uh, have a little snack as we walk. So um, we'll take it up by the river. So here we are at the beginning of where the river milestone is. And here's this uh, beautiful area behind us. But here is the thing that says Rio Yangana, 150 meters. And they got a lot of buses coming and going. So for like a dollar, dollar fifty, people can grab a bus and get into Vilcabamba from Yangana. And uh, it's really very affordable. Everybody uses mass transit. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go on a little walk and down this road. And we take basically a left where you see Rio Yangana, 150 meters. And these cute little farms are all over the place. There's some kind of river, although that's not the river that runs through it that we'll see here in a little bit. Um, but if you timed it, it really wouldn't be that long of a walk. But as you walk, you'll see that there's fruit in every yard. They got gas, internet. There's some papaya there. There's a little couple chickens, cool looking chickens. And there's a family. Buenas tardes, hola. They're roosters that love to show you that roosters do not just crow at night. They crow whenever they want to. And there's this cute little walkway with lots of uh, fruit trees. Everywhere you look, there's some kind of night blooming jasmine. There's some kind of citrus thing up there. Uh, there's a name. No doubt there's some names I'm missing for that. But look, there's some bananas. And the place is just chock full of um, fruit and plants. It's a cute little walk, walking in from town. And you can see here, more bananas everywhere. Everywhere, this place is just teeming with, it's like a, a food forest jungle. And so what I have done is found a little place 
right around the river. And we'll look at it in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to walk there. But everywhere you look, bananas. And so, you know, like me, I went to town and bought some bananas. Um, but there's a cute little walkway, and if you were walking to work every day, if you worked downtown near that sports area where the basketball was, this would be like a little five minute walk through a nice little shaded area. You don't see many cars through here. Um, most of these are like little farms. Or, or there's areas where there's just like nothing going on other than the food jungle. I hear a vehicle. Let's see what we've got. Oh, a family on a motorcycle. Some people tell me that there's been, they've seen as many as five people on a motorcycle. Hola, buenas tardes. So that's a bit of life there. In the some open areas where some people let animals graze. But um, that's kind of cool. We've got like four or five people. And of course, if you saw a helmet, you saw something I did not. And there's some pigs, perhaps. But the place that I'm looking at comes equipped with the family who is um, taking care of the place. Hold up. Apparently motorcycles are a way that people get around. In uh, Ecuador, particularly Vilcabamba and Yungana, and probably other places too, people, the number of cars that people own are really, really low. Mass transit is so cheap. You know, $1.50, $1 and a quarter for a cab ride anywhere in Vilcabamba. And if you took a ride, a cab ride from Vilcabamba to Yangana, it's like six bucks. And then if you see anybody along the way and they get on, then the next thing you know, they are um, sharing a ride and the cost, of course the cost of the thing. But over here is close to, this is where the property is that I'm looking at. And uh, apparently there's some people enjoying the water. But this is the nice little place here where people refresh themselves. And by coincidence, it's right in front of the place that I'm considering buying. So here we go. We're going to enter here and then we'll walk in the back. <laughs> 